Hey guys, if you have a RV that has this Dometic thermostat, you'll know that it's very sensitive and sometimes it'll switch by itself. It's very aggravating. Um, but if you take this cover off, you can actually see the circuit board here. And if you just touch these prongs with your, your finger, it'll work perfectly. Now the way it's normally activated is with these, it's got a little bit of sponge material that's glued down so when you, when you hit the button, the sponge kind of activates the, uh, the prong on the, on the circuit board. But the issue that people are having is that this actually board, this board moves around. So if you're, if something bumps in the trailer or moves or wind blows the trailer, um, something will, a lot of times you'll, you'll, it'll go from AC to turn on the furnace or from the furnace to turn off and it's because it's just very sensitive so if you can take it like a hot glue gun and i'm about to do that now and just hot glue the corners to keep this circuit board from i'm gonna take a little hot glue gun and i'm gonna hold some pressure here i don't know how i'm gonna be able to film this but i'm gonna hold i'm gonna put the phone down and well, maybe I can do it here. I'm just gonna put some little hot glue right here. My hot glue gun is ready. And this will help kind of hold it. I don't know if my hot glue is ready, but I think hot glue work good. And then you can kind of push it when it dries up. That's, yeah, that's gonna hold it. I've got my finger stuck to it now. So now that's a lot more stable. So I'm gonna put some down here in this other corner. And I'm just gonna let the circuit board kind of relax while I do this. Sorry, I'm not filming very well here. And then we'll put some right here. Cause I'm afraid if I hold it into a certain position Looks a little crooked. And now I'm going to try to turn, put the board on there without. It looks a tad crooked, but it'll be all right. So now I'm going to go over here to the main breaker. Well, first, I'll show you how this it operates. I'd like to turn the AC off. And then I'm gonna turn the main breaker off, but you can just touch these prongs. It's the furnace. Now I'm gonna wait for it to shut off. And while the AC is shutting off, yeah, that feels nice and rigid now. It's not even moving at all. That worked out pretty good. I'm gonna unplug the glue gun. So now that the AC is shut off, I'm just gonna Turn this main breaker off. Because while I'm putting this on, I don't want to sit there and turn on and off the AC and the furnace and all that. So now I'm just running off a battery for the light. So it'll, it might turn the fan on, but it's not going to activate the air conditioner. So then just, see it's doing something there. I don't know what it's doing. Maybe I gotta go in. There we go. All right, so now it's not even working. So it must be getting touched all the time. So maybe these little, okay, then there it goes. So now that's working great. I can tell you one thing, it's never responded so crisp and clean so normally it's very sensitive. So I'm gonna turn the AC back on. Oh, I like to go to, I'll always like to do the fan on low. So let's see how that does. Oh, I gotta turn that breaker back on. Duh. So now.
AC should kick on soon. It's just got the fan going right now. I might have to cycle through that again. Yeah, there's the AC is kicked on. Blowing full of air. So that's a little quick fix. The cover it isn't moving. It never has moved. It was the circuit board behind the cover moving and activating is what would always cause this to accidentally change it would you would just something would happen and you'd go from air conditioning to furnace all of a sudden it's very aggravating so i hope hope this helps you guys out